Hello, what's up YouTube? I got this uh, Cameron CF500BH travel tripod from Henry's Canada in Black Friday. I would think this is the best one. Let's take a look for the open box and how it performs. So here's the box. It comes with a carrying pouch. Very nice build. And there's a pocket inside with the bell and a hex key that can, I guess, to adjust some screws in there. Before I got this uh, tripod, I actually did some research and found that this one is the really the lightest one and actually it can handle up to 10 kilo of the load. Works, looks okay, build quality. Solid. Works fine. And uh, the legs have three different locking positions. So potentially you can get to the very low minimum of that. The center column is uh, reversible. You can take off this screw where it has uh, hooks for some weight to make the tripod more stabilized. When you reverse it, you can pretty much get your camera down to the floor level. Something like that. Yeah, pretty good. It comes with the ball head that um, this is for locking the Play, and that's a separate pen lobs that you can just use for pen. The play is uh, Axby's um, style. Um, the two screws that preventing the play to be accidentally take off and come with two bubble levels that you can adjust your horizontal. The play locking screw come with this uh, two free ring. It's pretty good design. Pretty handy. I should probably mount on the other side because I need to look at the uh, level bubble. Yeah. It's pretty good. At the maximum high, it's 
the play at one forty. 141 centimeter or 55 inch. Without reversing the center column, the minimum height is about 37 centimeter or 14 inch. With the center column reversed, you can pretty much get your camera down to the floor level. But I found that it's really a hard job with the camera that do not have a live view screen. It's really hard to do your job at that level. As a travel tripod, it's also very handy that it can be converted to a monopod. When you remove the lead that with the um, form, you can attach the head here. Then it becomes a... Uh, oops! Lesson one. So what I found is that it's pretty much the tolerance issue that this lob is not able to tighten to that much as, for example, this one. Look at here. This is too much, so it's just less than a turn, it goes out. But without this neck section, it actually goes to very deep. It tells me that the tolerance of this diameter of this section is a little bit too big. That's why this tighten knob is not able to tighten too much and it easily comes out. It's okay. Not a big problem because it's hundred dollar discount. You got what you pay for. Yeah, the other two LEDs looks better. So it's only this section. The good one is about 12A5. Diameter 12A6 diameter, and the one that is I feel is a little bit large. Thirteen point two, it is a little bit large. Thirteen point one. Thirteen point one. Thirteen point one, twelve point eight. So fixable, it's okay. So as a monopod, it's very handy that you don't want to carry that many stuff in your travel. It's good.
uh, where if you remove the rubber foot here, you can also get a pin that you can stick into soil, or grass, or kind of soft platform. With all the legs fold back to travel position, the total length is 37 centimeter of 40, 15 inches with the head. The weight of this tripod is 1060 gram. The tripod is rate 10 kilogram capability. Uh, my set of D500 plus uh, an O80 to 200 zoom lens is about five pounds weight. It looks okay. This is the video shoot with 200 mil. Pretty stable. Before I bought this Camera CF500 carbon fiber tripod, I actually did some researches. Here are some of the candidates. I would think the weight less than or close to 1200 is acceptable for a travel lightweight tripod. Anything below 1500 is kind of okay, but more than that will be too heavy for a travel. Payload wise, Since my Nikon D500 plus uh, zoom length will be about five pounds, I would think anything below five is kind of not acceptable. Maximum high. I wouldn't consider the maximum high as a very important feature, but anything above 14, I would think it's acceptable. Minimum high is not a requirement to me. Since the models I consider is about to do reverse center column, so minimum high is not that important to me. The close overall length is more important though. Anything below 400 is good. 400 to 450 kind of acceptable. But anything longer than that, I would think it's too long for travel. Price, I'm not quite sensitive to it, but anything below 200, I would think is a good price. More than that, up to 300, kind of acceptable, but if even more expensive, I think it's not worth to buy as a simple travel tripod. Only this one is kind of meeting all my requirements. Henry's Canada happened to have a very good discount on Black Friday sale. Notice that 
the number they put in the web page is not that accurate. Actually, I measure 1400 centimeters here and 1000 grams around. The other candidates, Manphoto is a good brand, but this element's more. The center column is not movable. It's kind of a less feature design. I don't really buy that. The element big is very similar product. However, the weight is much more, 1600 gram, as well as the very popular Mi Photo Road Chip. It's also 1600 grams. So overall, I will give it a four star rate. Uh, other than the torrents issue on one of the sections, uh, it's pretty good design, um, lots of features and details that are uh, not seen on the other products. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I will answer you as soon as possible. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. See you in the next video.